this is Burbs with PCAddicts.com. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and install a CPU on a motherboard. Now this motherboard and CPU are a couple years old. Um, this motherboard in particular has two processors as opposed to one. Um, so this is a fairly straightforward operation. On this particular heatsink, the heatsink is kept down with a metal clip that goes through the heatsink and attaches onto the housing of the CPU. Now to remove it, on one of the sides of the clip there should be a slot for a, a flathead screwdriver. So all you need to do is put the screwdriver into the slot, give it a bit of a push down, and then pull out away from the heatsink, and that should unclip the heatsink from the CPU. Just slide it off. There you go, you want to unplug the fan. So now we can see the CPU. Now, on most CPUs, there'll be an arm that's engaged down, so to disengage it, pull out a little bit, and lift up. Now the CPU is loosely in there, you can just get a grip on it, and it'll pop out. So, that's what a couple-year-old AMD processor looks like. You can see the main processor unit right there, and these rows of chips on the side are the caches where it stores temporary memory. Um, this processor, the, he the heat thermal glue on the processor is fairly dried up, fairly old. When you're reseeding or reinstalling the CPU, you always want to replace the thermal grease, especially if it's dried out. So to remove the old grease, you can just get a screwdriver and scrape it off and put on new one. To reinsert the CPU, most CPUs have a arrow pointing on which way it will go into the slot. So, you match up that arrow with the arrow on the slot, and it should pop right back in. Re-engage the arm, and you want to put the heat sink on basically the same way you took it off. Engage the clips on one, the side without the slot, then get your hot flathead screwdriver, and re-engage. There you go. That's as simple as it is. But you always want to make sure you plug your fan back in. And that's pretty much it. And remember to visit www.pc-addicts.com.